Hello, hello, my name is Odinson and this is Minecraft Direwolf 1.19 modded Let's Play. Already dying to Enderman a lot. Uh, okay, so w where we left it last time was like, I need to seriously get more power. I built a second wind turbine and making resources for this next stage was painful. These machines kept running out of power as I kept speeding them up and um, yeah, it just hurt. It just hurt. The reality of it. But anyway, we're done now and um, the one thing I need to do is, now I put this torch here to make a mark because this is where I want to go. Down. Down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's where we're going down. Now I did get the destruction gadget, and one thing I set up was um. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, uh, one thing I set up was. Yeah. I'm. Ah. Hmm. Ah. I think I want to go up a bit. I don't want to deal with this little cave. Hold on. One second, guys. There we go. So I set up this destruction gadget. Where was I? Okay. To do a depth of 16 and right 16. Sounds good to me. And what I'm going to do is hit this here. And what should happen when it's fully charged is... Because it's going to void the items. Meow. Oh my god, baby skeleton. Die. Is do out a massive room, but with big holes in it. And I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Basically. So I just want to get a couple more stacks of this stuff. There we go. And I'm just going to um, do the thing. The stuff and the things. And deal with the monsters under the floor later because I don't want to deal with that during an episode. Alright, one, two, one, two. And then we've got a big old hole here. The quick bodge job going in place. The one gadget I didn't build was the building gadget, which would have come in handy here. That's a learned build all the gadgets every time. Ah, oh, nope, don't use that because that's three by two or whatever the hell it is. Okay, that, 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 that. All right, and now we have a room. Okay, so this is where our elevator is going to live. I believe, but this is a good room to get started. I like it. I like it. Now I better put some torches down. F7 brings up light level overlay. We go there. And like... There. 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 You get the idea. I'm going to stop saying there. Okay, and now we just need to sort out the floor here. Okay, nowhere for baddies to spawn. Now I've got no way of getting up and down here. Oh no, it's not good. But I do have access to that command still, which isn't stopped by the cheat, so I guess I get to set one home for now. Um, so go through here. And we're left with a gaping hole. But there is a thing in this pack called the elevator mod. And what we need is a ton of wall. Which means I need shears like this. And now I'm going to go hunting sheep 
and I don't see any right now. Uh, turn off that light level over, eh? And I need 16. Goddamn 16 wool. Oh, there's our first sheep over there. Let's sprint. We've got tons of food at the moment. Other thing to look out for I noticed earlier. Sunflowers. I really need to um, find eight sunflowers for a thing for later. There's our first sheep. He's been hit by something. Thanking you. I'm going to get these. Thank you. Thank you don't really want black ones, but hey. Nice. Oh, there's some more to the north as well. Perfect. How many is that? Six. Ten to go. Sprint. Here we go. Hello, dude. Give me your wool. Ugh. Don't really want your wool. Or you. I mean, I've probably got some... Hey! Don't need bones. Kind of do need bones. Don't need seeds. Um, comments in tier. Thirteen. Two more. Will any of them have eaten any grass yet? Come on, dudes. Eat. There we go. That one has. Oh, yes. 16. Gonna use that. What feels cheaty command again. I'm gonna get two of my. Uh, let's put the brown and the black wool away. Take two of them. And then what I could do is surround that with wool. And I get two elevators. Put them away, don't need them right now. Don't need you right now. Got plenty of that for later. Good. Right, and now I need to, um, you know, hurt myself by doing this. Ow. And if I put that there, use my cheaty command one more time, and stick this here, that means I can Shift to go down, jump to go up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, good stuff. Yep. All right, so that's a quick way up and down to my basement. I don't actually plan that, but you know, thinking on the fly. All right. So, we've got all the stuff we need to make for our extreme reactor. We need one controller, so I need to make three of these. One, two, three. Uh, we need that. I need one never quartz, of course, which I wasn't prepared for. Uh, gave me two. Oh, of course it did. We take that. And we need four of these. One, two, three, four. Come back. We've got your Lorium. All right. And we are already. Eh, yeah, we're doing okay. Okay. You done. Um, Forge Energy Power Tap. We need one of these. So we need four. Four. And then we need another four of these. Forge energy power tap. Check. Goodbye. Okay, this is where we get a bit more. Okay, I'm not even gonna go through that because I know what I need. I need that. And then I need, what is this? The access port. 
Yes, I only need one for now. Four cobblestone, how dare you. Piston. And then of course we need four more reactor casings. One, two, three, four. Uh, take all of you back. And then we need a hopper, which needs another chest. Always check the requirements. One of you. And we should be able to make that. Perfect. Next. I don't know if I've got enough stuff here, but we're going to find out pretty quick. Uh, we've got you. Reactor control rod. We need two of these. Which means we need eight of them. Okay. Oh. Need two of these. Oh god, I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Uh one, two. One, two. Good. Goodbye. Reactor fuel rods, I need four of these one two three four and that is all the internal workings and now what i need the rest of is these and i'm not gonna have many it's not quite enough graphite and not quite enough iron i'm gonna be pausing right there and i'm gonna go mine some more iron and smelt some more graphite back soon like that and back okay so we did our mining um i have smelted a bunch more iron and a bunch more graphite bars and we're gonna hopefully be able to do this now i did remember i needed one more thing to be able to not waste stuff with this reactor because it will burn constantly and uh waste fuel even when the batteries and everything are full, unless I make this thing, where is it? It's a redstone control. Ew. Okay, redstone. All right, that's not too painful, so I know I need one, two, three, four, six. I'm probably gonna need some more redstone anyway. And I'm gonna need six sticks. I bet I haven't got, of course I've got five. Um, I know what I can do. I can do that because I don't think I need that anymore. God, inventory space, I swear. I play Direwolf's pack because that to feel like Direwolf. Um, I've literally used all of my iron, so that's the thing. Um, I need to quickly smelt those six. There's my time in the bowl. All right, so I need things. Um, what was it? Uh, I need to make okay. All right, uh, redstone reactor port. So I need to make god, seriously, I haven't got the inventory space for this. Please stop. Alright, uh, you and you. That. Am I gonna have a thing for this? Yes, just. No, probably not. Have I got gold? Oh god. Okay, put the food away. Uh, in there. Uh, gold. All right. Best laid plans, huh? Um, I'm gonna need a whole bunch of these. 
but it's probably not enough. do is that and then I'm going to go one two three and come back in a second <coughs> okay uh you do you body one we're close we're close I needed the bricks then we actually pull I've got glass to make that all right, I did want a crafting table for down there. Yeah. But, pretty sure I don't need that. Um, definitely don't need more than a stack of that now. I don't need that. Don't need that. We doing done. Good. Let's see how many more of these we can make. Um, no, 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 no. basic, basic. That's really important. Six more. All right. What am I sure of? Iron. Oof. Right. Okay. Let's see if this is going to be enough. Be tight. All right, so I want to leave some space for reasons I will explain later. Um, and then we want to go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. And then the bottom needs to be solid like that. And then we need two, we actually need to be three high. Where did you come from? You know what, we are going to... Uh, he probably came from up there. Damn it. I missed that spot. I'll have to get that between episodes. Hmm. Yep. And we are not even remotely close to enough yet. But what we can do is build up the rest of the structure. That's going to be too high. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we'll put this in here. Here's control port. We're going to put the redstone port. Uh, you in the back. And we're going to put the power tap on this side. And the in the jobby the input output there all right and then what we're gonna have is we're gonna do one two and then a, a reactor control three, and the same on the other side like that they need to reach the top and then we just need to fill in the gaps so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen one two three four five six seven seven fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen nineteen more reactor casings <clears throat> is what we're going to need so cutting away again to do some more mining and I will be back soon alright and I'm back and it is actually the next day because I ran out of time yesterday so I went and mined all the materials I've smelted all of the materials it took forever, like it did the first time. Oops, that's wrong. There we go. But I've got all the stuff I think I need. One thing I did realize, why can I see you? Where of that mod? Obviously a named mod. Okay, either way. 
So, uh, one thing I do know that I need is um, going to be another one of those redstone control blocks for the nuclear reactor that we're making before we make the rest of the casings because what we need two, three, and four, five. Okay. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Make them. I know I need to smell some stone. Six. Let's do this real fast. Uh, put me time in a bottle so we can do this super quick. Go. And one, two, three. Hey. Alright, uh, so let's see. So we need one of these. I'm putting in a couple of cords. Alright. So one of them. And one of them. And then we need to make some of these. Uh, that's. Uh, one, two, three, four. Take all that back. Make this. Not the one I want, I want. No. No. Yeah. Of course, I need one gold ingot. That's what I'm gonna need. Cool. And then I just need the rest in React Casings. So I'm just going to make 20 of these. That's enough, I believe. And I'm going to keep the rest of the materials because, well, I'm a hoarder like that. Um, I am like massively running out of space in this place. I really need to get into AA sooner rather than later. Um, okay. <coughs> Okay, uh, da, 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 da. right, let's go down to this reactor. Are we? Oh yeah, I know I need to make a logic gate as well soon. All right, so I'll show you what I've done. Um, I moved the reactor power tap, so we're gonna have power out of the top. And then we're gonna do our redstone control out of here. We're gonna uh, move this to there. Hopefully that's okay, yes. All right, so I'm going to build the rest of the frame and then I want the rest in glass. Now you can only use, well, you could use glass on the frame, I guess, but like not really much point. I'm not quite going to fill that in yet. So with these reactors, this will work with these two reactor fuel rods in the middle, but there won't be much transmission of heat. So the core will get really hot and the outside casing will be that hot. And into, put into the middle, you put these things called moderators. Now, I haven't got access to many of them at the moment. But one thing I do have access to is graphite. Now, it's by no means the best moderator in the middle. Um, so if I do this, I only need two. But pretty close to the right amount of graphite that I needed. And um, go back down the elevator. And I will stick these guys in between the uh, reactor rods, things, fuel rods, like that. Now it fills the space in the whole reactor, but this will actually provide some sort of heat dissipation around the whole thing. Uh, one thing I did bring was a um, crafting table for down here. And what I want to do with the rest is, uh, Start with 10. I'm not sure, can't quite remember how many I need. Go one, two, three, four. Yeah, see? I need one more casing, two more casings. So I need two more casings and two more glass ones. Okay. Oh, that's the perfect amount. Okay, 
If I wanna, not you, up there, that, that, and glass, and hopefully this should form the multi-block. Yes, so you saw the text change, that means the multi-block was done. Perfect. And we get a GUI when we open it up. So, we got this access port, so the first thing I'm going to do is put some Eulorium into it, which is our nuclear fuel. So that's nice and full-ish now. Um, turn it on, and we'll see these two be fairly similar. Whereas if them graphite rods were in there, there would be a much bigger difference. And this is producing roughly a thousand forge energy per tick, which is wonderful. And we're never going to need to use that much, I doubt. So we're going to turn it off. Slow down. Once it cools right down to 20 degrees, it will stop producing energy. This is probably going to be all the power that we'll ever need. And if not, I'm just going to expand it. Make it a bit bigger, one wider. You know, maybe have like two, three, four, five fuel rods in there instead of two. But yeah, so what this does is it burns through this fuel very slowly and produces waste from it. And every now and again, you get an ingot of waste, which, which for yellow right is called. Um, these villagers are getting on my nose. I'm gonna have to sort that out at some point. Um, it produces cyanide, and cyanide can be reprocessed, I believe, into plutonium. There's all loss loss along the way, but uh, you can reuse plutonium again in the um, reactor and burn it as fuel. Or I believe it can also. That's a reactor. Yeah, plutonium blocks. I'm pretty sure you can use it in place of the graphite, but I'm not sure how good it is. So I guess we'll see. But either way, that reactor is now built and finished. So the next thing we need, and it's on my list here, is a logic gate. So that means I need four of these, so I need 12. Of course, I haven't got enough sticks. Of course. Okay. Do this. And this. Okay, so I need 12. You please. One. Yep. And I need. How many did I need in my brain? Four. So I need one more quartz. And then I need. 12. Stone. Them in there, stick that in there. I know you're a monster. It's because I'm impatient and I don't care about power at this point. Okay, 12 of them. And then we're gonna go. Uh, 3, 3, 4. And then we need this. There's three gold nuggets, but three more stone, of course. I've got gold nuggets, I know that. One, two, three. I'm gonna have to cook these three and waste some of my time in the bottle. There we go. Digging Minecraft style. Now we need the base. Which is this. That. And then we've got. But, okay, and we've got some redstone, which is what we need. Um, and we're just going to take a stack of cobblestone. Notice we've got 12.2 thousand cobblestone. And that's from all the mining from earlier. Kind of nuts. I did have to do quite a bit to find all the iron that I need here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to... Um, Build a little platform for this. I'm going to expand this room out. This isn't big enough for everything that I need, but it's a good start. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. One moment. Okay. I'm back. We're back. 
All right, Minecraft and one the one thing that I had just realized before I paused it there and everything was that I need a third redstone port as an input. So I'm going to build out this thing now. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I need this running across to here. Right, so what I've done is I've set this one to be active whilst below 25%, which is what I want. And I've set this one to be active while above 85%, which is also perfect. All right, so now I need my logic gate. I'm gonna do is we're gonna set that right there, and then we're gonna use a bit of redstone signal. We're gonna go in there and in there. Now, what this logic gate is doing is when there's no signal, it keeps the previous signal. Okay. Uh, when it's coming in from the top, which is B, when you get a redstone signal from here, it turns on. Okay. And when it gets a signal from just A, it turns off. So what happens is, I mean, obviously we've got some power in here at the moment. We're just over halfway full, which is not ideal. When it's below 25%, it will send a redstone hit here. It will turn it on. It'll send the redstone signal out to here. Now I need more redstone. Kind of weird. Fine. Um, like that. And it will send the redstone signal here. And I'm going to switch this one into on off set from signal save perfect like that all right so uh, when it gets below 25 percent it's going to turn on the reactor and then almost immediately it's going to get above 25 percent which will then turn this signal off but we've got keep previous signal so this will stay on until we get to 85 percent which i've set this to when we get that signal that will switch it off then it's going to like carry on up just over 85 percent like 90 95 percent whilst it's cooling down and then it will start to fall as all the machines use how did you get in here through that seriously wow okay anyway um about 95 percent and everything uh, but eventually it will drop below 85 percent and these will both be off again but it will keep the previous signal so this will stay off until it drops below 25 percent again the signal and then goes back up again and so on and so on and that way we're not burning reactor fuel when everything is full of energy and it's just wasting fuel but now we can we sort of min max the efficiency of this and everything i don't think we're going to need um a thousand rf per tick for a long time but what i'm going to do is these control rods i'm gonna insert about the feel of the air, uh, my skin. a shift will set to 100 or so a control. I'm going to set it to about 50% for now, so it'll only burn at about 50% of maximum power. So that's going to save you more efficiency going forward because we don't need this on full power. Now, I'm going to have to get up here and get the uh, power out of here at some point, but that is the reactor done. Now, the one thing we wanted to do is make an energy cell to store some energy. Um, and what we needed for that was that, uh, can get rid of that, this stuff, which was the cured rubber, which you get from smelting rubber, which you get from a latex bucket. bucket. Uh, you get latex from an arboreal extractor on specifically a jungle tree. Now, I spent ages between episodes Traveling the map, like look, went pretty far, marked some stuff, found some jungle trees just on the edge over here, and I found my jungle tree. I need to sleep through the night because I don't want to be out there with baddies. Go to sleep, sleep through, and I planted and bone milled my jungle tree. Now to get latex out of this jungle tree, I need to make arboreal extractors <clears throat> okay so i need one two three four go iron a bucket so that's seven and eight of the red and i think i've got enough stuff on me to be honest to make all this uh let's do it so i need one of these mm. nope it's not that one obviously that one there we go 
One of these. One of these. One of them. But I actually want four, not one. Then I want 16 wood and 8 glass. I've got glass. 1, 2, 3, 4. I just heard an enderman. Where is it? Oh, he's zipping around all over the place. Okay, and then we can do this. Bar 4. Our boreal extractors. So, with that, we put these around the base of the tree. Now you can add phytogrow, which is a type of fertilizer. I'll show you a recipe before at some point. But what that's going to do is it'll double the speed of this thing. But like these take a while, unless you do the thing. And even with the speed up, folks, it's taking ages. So I'm going to, um, yeah, I've got four hours in there. So I'm going to wait for this to finish up. And then I'm going to give it a big old speed boost. But what I should do is get a um, bucket first. So I can get the stuff out of it. One, two, three. Get the redstone out of there. Right. <clears throat> Eat this fill up nice and quick. Looking at this. I'm gonna need a few. Had four hours, now I got three. That took an hour of my time to do that. <clears throat> okay, and that got me 600. So I'm going to go to 32 this time. Did only take. Thirty minutes of my time this time. Yes. We need a thousand miller buckets before we can get anything out of it. We know we need four of them. Yep. I'm going to take another 15 minutes of my time in a bowl. Getting close to time for the episode. Can I get it done? Come on. A few more ticks. One more tick. You can do it. Are you kidding me? Huh. All right. And then what we do is we just put that in there. Oh, we get three per. Didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Needed to do it for two of them. But we've got some extra rubber. I'm not going to complain about. 369, which one did I miss? That one. Okay. Go through here, cook the rubber. Uh, Mini four. That. A block of redstone and a redstone block of oil. Right. Good. That means I need a 
a gold ingot. Flux coil. And then a block of redstone. Got the frame. We should be able to make it now. Yes. Cool. 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 And that stores a million RF at the moment. But we will upgrade that. Uh, one thing I wanted to check out before we finish. I'm not sure how much energy these transfer. I'm gonna see. Um. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got some cobble, haven't I? Okay, we're down to our kind of dungeon. <laughs> the moment. Why? Did I not pick up the pipes? input and what I do need is my pipe wrench oh, where is it question there it is um, I'm gonna uh, offload some of this stuff because it's getting ridiculous fine for now Okay, I can live with that inventory at the moment. Back down. There we go. The power is flowing into there pretty slowly, but it is. So what we should be able to see very shortly is this thing kick off. You see the percentage? Oh, <clears throat> those pipes aren't that good. So one of the next things we need to do is um, universal cables from mechanism. They're much more efficient at um, carrying power than these pipe stings, obviously. Unless there's some kind of upgrade. Alright, 26%. There we go, it just kicked on. The reactor kicked on. As you can see. But it's running at full power, so I need to fix that with the control rods, obviously. For some reason. Not that it really matters. And you can see how slowly it's burning fuel, right? 0 0.16, 0 0.17. Really slow. So we're at 85%. And this should be kicking off. Why is this not kicking off? A. Off. How is that giving off a red? What? Okay, something's wrong here, obviously. Why is this giving off a red? I get it. Hmm. I shouldn't be behaving like that. Oh, 
OK. I mean, this thing's nearly full now, so. We're not going to get to there, but that toggle on pulse should work, I think. Room get from just A. Don't emit a redstone signal. Okay. Get from just B, do emit, and then keep last signal. All right, we're not going to get to see it, but that is the end of today's long episode spread over two days in chunks, and I'm going to stitch it all together. But, like, um, that is the reactor done. We've got an energy cell, which we're going to upgrade in the next episode. Um, and then we're going to start looking into, I think, applied energistics. I haven't got anything else. One thing I will do between episodes, that's done is make a backpack for my loose stuff in my inventory because like this is getting crazy now but other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you all 